Um, this first topic has to do with Avengers Camp as it opened in Disneyland. So that's um, the park inside Disneyland. Well, it's called Disney. What is it called? Disney California Adventures DCA. That's what they call it. So okay. that's where this part of this part of the land is at. So we're talking about Avengers Campus, brother. Uh, yeah. This has been a three year project. Right, right. Three year project. So this you is a big mean? deal, yo. Big, big deal. deal, man. Open yesterday. Yeah. Um, bro, you had to be there at like five a.m. to get in. Oh, I, I believe it. And the lines were four, five hours long. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm. Are I'm you a so line much. guy or are you like no, a fast no, pass? No. You a fast I'm like pass? a fast if pass guy. I, I'm not a fast pass guy, but I'm not a line person either. I'm I can sit in line for forty minutes to yeah, an hour. I maybe. like a line every now yeah, and then. I mean, it's nostalgic. It, yeah, I, I if, like if, it. Especially, especially with the queue, like and right. everything is going on and you right. get to look at different stuff. So yeah, yeah. Especially if, if, if you're there with the right people too. Because mm-hmm. you can just clown. And for on an a hot hour, day, if it's like really cool with the air conditioner. Right. Facts. Okay, but I'm not sitting in line for no four hours. <laughs> no, and that's just to get into the park. That's not even like so. There's like technically one new ride. It's the Spider-Man ride, yeah. ride Web Slingers. Mm-hmm. Uh, they changed House of uh, what was House of what is that? The Tower ta- Tower of Terror. They rethemed that to yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy. They did that three years ago, oh. so that's already been done. But right. that part is a part of the new, new Avengers yeah, Campus yeah, yeah, part. Yeah, yeah. So you wait four or five hours. Nope. You're probably you might not even get on the the new ride. Yeah, you might not get on anything. So you might literally just have enough time to walk around the thing. Yeah, you get in. yeah. But I mean, if you are like a diehard uh, Marvel, Marvel Spider Man fan, especially, yeah, this is I mean, the place to be. You damn near got to camp out. Oh yeah, like, you got to bring a lawn chair. You got to mm-hmm. bring breakfast, lunch, yeah, snacks, yeah. And oh, if you yeah. got your kids with you, mm-hmm. uh, kids get stir crazy. Yeah. And they're going to be running around crazy, mm-hmm. you know, especially from if, if you getting up at 5 a.m. and yeah. waiting that long to get in yeah. the park. If you want to get in there during the during day. During the day. You know what I mean? You know, and shit, you sitting out in the sun, too. Yeah, That's draining. Man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just couldn't do it. I, I, I'll, yeah. I'm See, I'm the guy. I could wait. It depends, like, because I know if there was something Sonic-related. Oh, you know you I be, be there. You, know yeah. there. you be it's, there first day, yeah, right? Yeah, you know I mean, so it's different for some people. Like when Gal- Star Wars Galaxy's Edge opened, I couldn't go. Obviously, it wasn't here. It was bad timing, so I haven't gone yet. Right. Um. But yeah, I will wait in line for that. You know, because this experience is one of my favorite IP and in- intellectual properties in in movies right. and everything. So like, hell yeah, I'll wait. Yeah. So you know, it all depends, man. Yeah. Now I know when they did Galaxy's Edge. They had it to where you were only allowed to be in there a certain amount of time mm-hmm. during the day so everybody can get in. Right. They didn't do that with Avengers Campus. Oh, man. So the lines were ridiculously long yeah. most of the day. People trying to soak it all in. Oh, it yeah, man. And it's not like it's that big yet. They're expanding on the actual Avengers Campus, right. but there's only technically one ride inside the campus. Yeah. So you could do the ride. Uh, they have the Spider-Man store, which is called Web Slingers. Yeah. And then they have an area. It's like a temple, and it's a um, Doctor Strange kind of like right. magic show. Yeah, okay. So you, you could watch that. And then they have like live performances going on all day. All, the, all day. You got Spider-Man flying yeah. 80 fucking feet in the air Dog. Um, like every 45 minutes. Yeah. Then he's like crawling down a building. Yeah. You got Black Panther crawling up a building. There yeah. is a whole lot of stuff yeah, going on. Yeah, this shit is insane. And... and I think in a web slinger store, like you can legit like get shit yeah. To, to so so there's these these web slingers mm-hmm. that you attach to your arm. You could take that and get on the ride. That web slinger costs eighty dollars, <laughs> and then I think you need another piece in order for it to work on the ride. So yeah. you're looking at like one fifty. Yeah, and uh, yeah, you still have to get on the ride. Yo, when I was a kid, they had. <laughs> That like web slinger stuff, but yeah, it was, it was it crazy was, strange. Yeah, it was a, yeah, yeah, the can yeah. stuff, and it's and it's crazy that they can charge that much. People are gonna buy that shit. Oh yeah, bro, People they already did. They have the shit. eyes, bro, yeah. and they're like glasses, but yeah. they light up at night. Yeah, fifty bucks. Fifty fucking dollars. You know people gonna buy it, dude. They had your okay. So it's a whole theme, right? So yeah. you know Ant Man and the Wasp. Yeah. Hank Pym is the scientist and all that. They got Pym Test Kitchen. They make stuff really big, really small. We talked about it last week. How they're doing a hundred dollar sandwich. Yeah. Um. They got giant hundred dollar sandwich. Yeah. It's a. It's called a Pym Nini, but it's a Panini sandwich, and it's bro. It could feed ten people. It's freaking huge. Damn. It's huge. But they got a pretzel, super big. Yeah. It could feed like four people. 
they have what's uh, it's called like the not so big chicken sandwich, right? And it's a tiny bun with a big chicken like patty on it. They're doing some crazy stuff. They're doing stuff with drinks. Um, they had these shot glasses that were like beakers yeah. and all types of stuff, man. I mean, they're doing alcohol. They're doing everything themed for this land. That is crazy. They're going above and beyond. Yeah. And they're always, they're, eventually they're going to, you know, add on more stuff to this yeah. land. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I seen every character, I think, from Marvel Okay. the other day. Well, with the food, do you think, like, for example, at King's Island, for some reason, the Roses and Skyline taste 10 times better inside yeah. the park <laughs> rather yeah, yeah, than when yeah, you yeah, go yeah, outside yeah, yeah, and yeah. get something it. about it. Um, do you think it's going to be that way there? Um, I don't know if they have any outside food inside, mm-hmm. but from what I could see, what I hear, like, the re- well, here, let me put it this way. I don't know if you know. Yeah, have you ever been to Disneyland? I've not since I was very little. Okay. So, you know, we have Disney World and Disneyland, you yeah, guys. Uh, Disney World's in Orlando. Disneyland is in California, California. Anaheim. Um, Disneyland is known for their food. Okay. In park food. Mm. It is like a known thing. They do something every week with food. With the churros. Uh, they do different flavor churros. They have the um, different ice cream. I mean, anything you can think of, man. Different style food. Different culture. Everything. Yeah. So, I think the food, I mean, from, and from what people are saying, it's extremely good. Uh, same with the Star Wars land. Yeah. They said that they have like I think it's called a Ronto wrap. Yeah, and it's in this place called Ronto Roasters. It's a big pod racer engine. It's cooking everything. Oh. They said the food is super good. They have blue milk there. They, there's so much stuff they got going on there, yeah. but they said that stuff tastes really good. So yeah. I'm like, yeah, you know, it, it's one thing to theme something one way and yeah. it just tastes nasty or be right. a rip off. Exactly, yeah. It's another thing for it to actually be good, good. You know what I mean? And yeah, they're doing that. Yeah, for sure. I, I I might be the person just to go for the food. Yeah, you know? I mean, at this point, I'm becoming that person because yeah. I don't, uh, you know, that. What else do you need? You know, besides, you know, you're riding a ride, mm-hmm. you're doing everything in between. Yeah. You know, so hey, let's eat some food, man. Right. And there's people spending money. Oh, I'm, I'm uh, they sold out the first day on their food. Yeah, in in that part of the land, oh, man. there are people ordering a hundred dollars worth of food. Early in the morning, because it was a loophole. If you ordered food, you could get into the park without having to wait. Oh. So that's why the food sold out so damn quick, because people were just like, all right, there was three ways. You wait in line. Yeah. You, okay, so this is another thing they do at Disneyland with new opening attractions. Yeah. So Star Wars, Rise of the Resistance. There was a, uh open lottery uh, every morning at 7 a.m. So before you had to be in the park at 7 a.m. to do it from your phone. Now you can do it anywhere as long as you have a ticket. Yeah. But you do this lottery, and you either win a ticket to ride the ride that day or you don't. You have one more chance at 12. And because the ride's so popular and they don't yeah. want the lines, to be you stupid. know, yeah. they do it that way. So they're doing the same thing with Spider-Man ride. So you can either do the queue in the morning, win that way, and that's how people got into the uh, land, yeah. wait in line, or they order food. Ooh. Just, just from like, kind of working in the, in the food space and entertainment, just to think like running out of food, yeah, is like you do not you want do that, that to happen. Yeah, yeah. it is like your worst nightmare, mm-hmm. especially happen on your first day. Yeah, but damn, that's that's crazy. Yeah, they so I mean, dude, there was so much stuff in there that you could buy, food related, non food related, everything. They yeah. they're coming for the pockets, man. Right. They ain't oh, yeah. doing this just to. For you to come in there and get a little picture. Yeah. No, no. they want you to buy the stuff, then do the picture yeah, and do all sure. that. So good stuff, man. Real good.